Hi everybody, we are going to talk to you about the conflict between the youngsters and the government. During the 60s, Great Britain was marked by a revolutionary period called the Swinging 60s. One of the changes it provided was a movement called the Anti-Establishment. Indeed, young people began to challenge and question authority, which was something extremely new and could not have happened a decade before. In the 1960s, the United Kingdom saw its number of teenagers increasing. They were wider, more rebellious and more obsessed with their own identities than their parents. This generation was completely different from the one before. The first thing which contributed to this revolutionary situation was the war. Indeed, as for many other countries, World War II destroyed Great Britain. British people were exhausted by all the violence, but then came the Cold War, another period of international tension. With all this, many young British people were afraid for their future. Fortunately, With the abolition of the National Service in 1960, the first teenagers free from conscription has now more freedom. This youth wanted changes and more liberty so it could really be who it wanted to be. The youngsters started to rebel and attack traditional entertainment and lifestyles, the values and traditions of their parents, authority, good work ethic, religion, patriotism, so the representation of the establishment. There was a kind of conservative backlash generated by young adults. This youth consumed a lot. Indeed, it was the generator of a new market of pop music, clothing, house furniture, and makeup. Music had a huge influence on young people because it encouraged them to rebel against the establishment. For example, the album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Horse Club Band by the Beatles contains some lyrics encouraging rebellion against the authorities. Other musicians, such as the Rolling Stone or Led Zeppelin, invited young people to protest against the Vietnam War when Great Britain was involved. Among them, there were the students who protested with petitions, protest marches and media coverage. This conflict also involved the the hippie movement and indeed the the emergence of hippies and the counterculture was a major threat of the conservatives of the decade. Hippies advocated a profound revolutionary position against the establishment. The public's relation with the government seriously got bad, not only because of those events, but also because of some affairs in which politicians lied. At that time, teens were separated into two camps, moods and workers. The moods were the stylish kids, fans of rock, who wore skinny ties and suits and rode around the streets of England on scooters. The workers were the tough kids, leather clad, they greased their hair and took the roads on motorcycles. These two groups were always fighting with each other. Another big change was the increase of jobs for women. It allowed them to move away from home and they became more and more independent. Finally, this new youth who was supporting many causes such as the, as anti-war and anti-poverty looked for a society where people at all levels had control of the decisions and choices that would affect them.